We ended our tutorial sessions with each mentor offering his or her reflections on how the Ramayana informed their thinking about the power of storytelling, the politics of inclusion and exclusion, the portrayal of women, and the moral dilemmas and their attempts at resolution, and finally, how these issues played out in your classroom. So in many ways, I feel really close to great politics. So here we all are, Professor Vasuvardhan and the gallants and mentors, the high school teachers, students presenting works related to the ancient Indian epic, the Ramayana, and I look forward more than ever to your presentations. It was my pleasure to work with these kids who have amazing personalities and just made my experience so special there. Um, they have a great teacher, Ashley, and they worked really hard on this project, and I'm excited for them to share it with you guys. Now the idea for today is that you guys are going to try to come together. Max and I were talking about having you guys come together um, to a consensus about what the actual final project will look like. Um, and then the remainder of the class will be spent sort of thinking about next steps, pacing, um, the materials and resources that you'll need, and what the final project will look like and feel like. We noticed that throughout the story, important female figures such as Sita and Ahavio were presented as minor characters and were almost portrayed as villains in some scenes. Once we realized this, we decided that we had time to rewrite some of the most important scenes in a way that would empower the women of the Ramayana instead. It is not ethical for you to indulge in a conversation with a married man, nor profess your love and feelings to him. I recommend you go about your way and leave my husband and I at peace. <laughs> I am a woman who is able to speak up for myself and my husband. You have no business being here. Stop making a fool of yourself and leave. I left behind my family, my luxuries, to be with you for 14 years in the forest. And you discard me? I've been nothing but faithful to you after all I've been through, and this is how you repay me? Rama stands shocked, astonished at how a woman would dare to stand up to the word of a man. But Sheeta pays no mind to his expressions and continues on her way, leaving Rama and her baggage behind. We're aware that our retellings aren't perfect, but we enjoyed ourselves and we had time articulating our creativity through the means of art and literature. So thank you guys for your time and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so we had the pleasure of working with the students of Westchester Square Academy and we found that they are very great with all things music so we had them create a soundtrack for any character that they chose from the Ramayana and it was great working with them. Play the song for each other uh, and, and explain why you think this is a good fit as a theme song for your particular character and then that way you can give feedback to each other both on that song and maybe help each other choose a second song for your character. In the story Ramayana, Lakshmana was my character. And I said, in the song, the artist Trippy Red says some notable things that relate to Lakshmana's character, like a line where he says, Loyalty before royalty, I'm gonna die for respect. I said, this quote stands out because in the story, Lakshmana shows a strong loyalty for Rama. And it's clear that Lakshmana would do anything for Rama, even lay down his own life for him. In the text, Lakshmana serves as a right-hand man who does whatever Rama commands him to do, and he doesn't second-guess him, even when Lakshmana believes a better decision could be made. These students are so wonderful, um, and I've learned so much from Jasmine and from Sophie. This has been a really special experience. Monarchy versus non-monarchy. How does that sound? I want to say thank you to all of you for the energy and creativity and really sharp critique that you brought to this process. Um, and you're going to do an amazing job. I can't wait to see you. Raise your hand. You raise it once. Raise it high. Like government. 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 Like Bye.
at the end of class on Monday. Brahma, we talked about this already. She's not a woman anymore. She is a beast, an unholy creature, so impure, tainted by her own disgusting views of this world that she, what she lives in. Brahma, the argument is over. But you already done can't be reversed. It's over. Uh, this just doesn't feel right to me. Like how women were feeling and what they were going through during that time, we're trying to make sure that that's like shown throughout the story. Especially how, how they were viewed. Exactly. Yeah. How they were viewed, how they were taught to view themselves. Exactly. Marry me. Leave Sita. I will have my brother marry her. Brahma, my dear brother, you have been loyal to me from the beginning. Please understand, this offer will help me. Rama? If you really love me, you will do this for me. I will go. <laughs> you see, with this I'll be more powerful. I will kill myself. I have to marry another man, Rama. Enough! I will be with you despite your cut of body if you follow through. Even though her story is set in a place and set in a time that is seen as unrealistic, the core details, the core feelings, the core, the core of the entire story that is relevant today because we're all going to experience a sense of grief, we're all going to experience a sense of anger and it's like how do I get, how do I figure out what I should do in this certain time, in this certain situation that I'm in. For me personally, this has been a very rewarding experience. Our entire group, all the mentors and Rebecca, provided much food for thought. I got to revisit a story told to, be, told to me by my grandmothers in a totally different light. True to the tradition of the Ramayana, I heard yet other tellings through their eyes, ones that will stay with me for a long time to come. I cannot thank them enough for giving me this gift. And I want to thank you for embracing a part of my childhood upbringing. Thank you. Thank you.